early decision, early action, there's, there's benefits, and there's some downside. So early decision grows, improve your eyes for acceptance for reschool. So if you have a dream school you want to get in, I advise often to apply early decision. Realize though, you get your disposition early, you get your financial aid, that means estimated family contribution order. You get your letter back telling you how much you have to pay the first year. To accelerate the whole process, because all applications have to be in by November 1st, and you get to enjoy the rest of senior year. However, it also has some liability. You're locked into that choice. If you change your mind, you can't get it out. You're bound. You sign a letter, your child signs a letter, your guidance counselor signs a letter saying you're making this decision knowing you're bound to that school. Got it. What is the benefit for changing your mind? I, it's, it's, not a, it's not a financial one, it's more of an ethical one. Yeah. Kind of broken. Yeah. Some parents, and this is one thing if you leave with nothing else, parents sometimes never have a financial conversation with their children, and so they get accepted into Harvard, the second schools, and may never know what their sentence is. Well, if they know you, you, you're bound to this agreement, how much money are they going to offer you? So if I know you're coming in and go buy this car today, and you need that car, how much negotiation? You gotta be careful with that one. There's this question on the application that say, is are is financial aid an important factor in you coming to our school? If you write yes, they raise the admission standard because they know you're gonna need more money. So if you you're bound to this agreement, you're less inclined. To negotiate a better package. So I have students that went, say, regular decision or early action, and they have an offer from, say, Case Western, and they're getting offered thirty thousand dollars a year, and uh, Emory is offering fifteen thousand. You can use the Case Western in negotiation with Emory, which may be the first choice. When you go early decision, you have no, you have no. Negotiation. You can't show them other offers because you were supposed to withdraw those acceptances. See my point? So they're less inclined to give you one. But I've been a few of the colleges that have had this thing, and they, all of them said that this is it's kind of completely different. The admission process and the financial dimension is really different. The amount of money you have, it looks like it's not the case, so it's expense. But it's not like IVs, they say, are deep line. Right. So if you get in, you can go. But I'm sure they're going to draw a line someplace in the sand of how much they're willing to pay. And a lot of schools, especially with the current political environment, they're going to have less federally. It's going to be less state aid. So now you're working just on the endowments of that particular institution. At a place like Harvard, their endowments will go for the end of time. But a lot of other schools are going to start getting squeezed. So it's going to be less and less money. So the financial conversation is going to become more significant. It looks like the Ivy colleges are deep line, but others. Yes, Ivy's are deep 